Located in the vibrant, historic north end of Halifax, Nova Scotia on a narrow and abandoned lot. In the decades prior, the adjacent property was the site of a neighborhood African Nova Scotian barbershop. The project was designed with the intention of becoming the primary residence of Omar Gandhi, his partner, and his son, sitting over top of what would become the Architecture Studio's East Coast home base. However, over the course of the build, the studio grew to a level that can no longer be accommodated in the modest space. The ground floor office is now a dedicated community studio, focused on community projects specifically located in the north end of Halifax, including housing for the homeless and safe public amenities. The primary entry for both the studio and house is situated at the rear of the property through a brick courtyard and down a full-width brick stairwell. A large, raw steel-clad, pill-shaped closet both marks the entry and provides privacy for the studio space. The second floor, clad entirely in white oak paneling, houses the kitchen, dining, and living room spaces. Carved into the end of the volume is a two-story light well which reached the full height of the house. Intensive lighting studies and parametric modeling were used to form find the light well shape to ensure optimal natural lighting conditions throughout the length of the living space. A long, white bar of millwork connects the length of the floor, housing all storage, kitchen amenities, wood storage, and the wood-burning fireplace. A white oak kitchen island and dining table make up for over 30 feet of length spanning both the kitchen and dining spaces with a double curved opening allowing for easy flow through the space. The third floor is composed of two bedrooms, including that of Omar's son which looks down into the living room light well though an opening above a desk. 
too contrasting, monochrome bathrooms live on the same floor, both feature full-length skylights which reveal the extreme weather conditions and dramatic skies of the coastal city. Up one final flight of stairs lives the roof space which includes a small sitting area and garden at the street side of the house. Woodline stairwells and handrails with organic, custom-designed bronze brackets emerge from the seams of the white oak paneling. Upon reaching the end of construction, the cedar-clad facade had already lost much of its vibrancy and faded gently to resemble much of the weathered wood textures of the neighborhood, all while maintaining much of its curious spirit. Thank you for watching our channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's find your place of dream and find beautiful your house design.